All right, guys, I'm uh, here at Toy Rat in his uh, new location. It's actually in the same complex. Uh, he basically just moved into a, a different unit just across the uh, parking lot. So uh, it's not really uh, a new location. It's in the same location, just uh, a different unit in the building. Yeah, we're checking out the, the new store. I was basically on my way to Toronto, so I figured uh, I'll stop off uh, in Milton since it's on the way. And uh, it's really not that far off the 401, so, I mean, if you're going past it, <laughs> you might as well stop in, right? Now, as you can see, it's a little bit messy. It's uh, basically a work in progress uh, as they're moving into the new location. Um, <laughs> official Saga Dreamcast magazine, that caught my eye. A lot of this stuff was probably in the old store. Although I don't remember seeing that. Is that the Atari... What's that called? The XE? Basically a consoleized version of the, uh, you know, Atari uh, XL or, you know, the, the 400, 800, 600, uh, XL, 800, XL. The 8-bit uh, home, home computer. And the Street Fighter II cabinet. I believe that was in the store the last time, uh, in the old location. Miscellaneous stuff. I can see a Sega CD Model 2 with a Mega Model 1 Genesis. Interesting combination. Uh, Super Scope. I need to pick up a Super Scope one of these days. I guess if I find a good deal on one. It's kind of like a novelty item, I guess. <laughs> there's a CDI. Now, there's so many versions of the CDI, I don't know which one this is. Um, but uh, nonetheless, there's a CDI if you're looking for one of those. Box Master System with the, uh, the 3D glasses. A lot of random stuff, not really too well organized yet, but uh, I'm assuming once again this is the newer stuff that's just come in. Uh, I did notice, notice a lot of Super Nintendo RPGs here. Final Fantasy 2, um, two of the Lufia games. I think there was three of them in total on the Super Nintendo. What else? Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, Breath of Fire 1 and Breath of Fire 2. Now here's the back area. Now once again, this is definitely a work in progress. And uh, <laughs> I think it shows. <laughs> a lot of stuff back there that you can see that hasn't been organized yet whole bunch of boxed N64 games, so if you're looking for some boxed N64 games, it's definitely the place to be. It's a boxed uh, Donkey Kong 64, N64, and uh, the Turbo Booster, which I noticed the last time I was here. Once again, you know, BMX bikes and uh, ghetto blasters sort of come with the territory. <laughs> Random Sega CD game. And that's my pile of stuff. <laughs> A couple Sega CD games that I picked up. Toyrat.ca Or of course, just check them out on Facebook. Some Laserdisc movies, lots of good Laserdisc movies, and, uh, you know, vinyl records, as uh, you've seen before. Basically all the same stuff you've seen before. A lot of the Pong consoles, there's an Atari 400, uh, 600XL, Amiga 500, uh, Color Computer 3, I believe. Lots of uh, 5200 and 7800 games, and a 5200 actually right there. Looking for, uh, is it Junkyard Dogs, or um, what is it called Junkyard Dogs? Scrapyard Dogs. No Scrapyard Dogs. Um, that's one game that I want to pick up for the 7800, and I haven't found it yet. Speaking of 7800s, it's a boxed 7800, that's nice. I'm sure most of you know, just finding the controllers for that thing can be difficult. Not as difficult as the 5200, though, I suppose. There's a 7800 there. Not in the best shape, unfortunately, though. Lots of boxed Atari games. Lots of boxed uh, 2600 games. 
nice Coleco Vision. I think I saw two Coleco Visions there, and they are both in really nice shape, like the uh, the the black plastic. You know, you can just tell they're just pointing out that that is different looking than my Coleco Vision. I think mine has a silver sticker on the front, and that one was black. Lots of boxed NES games and loose NES games. The Power Glove and uh, Genesis games. Like I said, nothing too new, you know, as they're moving, and obviously needs to be organized. Oh, well, they had the, uh, I don't know if I showed it, <clears throat> they had the fighting stick, for the Capcom stick for the Genesis, which was one of the better uh, fighting sticks at the time. Some poor Super Nintendos and the vinyl records again. That's pretty much it.